said this, but then this. The thing when I speak of my workers, tell me somebody that works for me that I spoke on. Nobody. Lance's situation, he brought to y'all. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. Well, I never right. brought it. You're left to assume. What the yeah. guy I was talking about is much deeper than YouTube, and everything ain't made for TV, man. Yeah, right. yeah. We all yeah. have some personal things in our lives that you don't bring there. And not only that, the police watch this shit, probation officers watch mm-hmm. this shit. And for a couple mm-hmm. of you, I could end somebody up in a fucking can, and that's not who I am. Yeah. I said that too. I said, nah, him and him, him and Big Lance are good. He, he, he did say that. that. My dude. Ronnie did say dude. that. I had That's just things. Huh? I had just things, you know what I'm saying? Because I know what they're Ronnie did say that. He don't speak much on, on that bullshit, also, dog. You know what I'm saying? When, yeah. but, even when you and Big Lance had a little bit of a thing going, even Big Lance even said, yo, he still was saying some good stuff about you, and you got to give him honor for that, even though... No, Big Lance spoke on. good about Jay. Yeah, yeah 100%. I can't percent Lance ever say anything bad. Me and Lance are close. I know who Lance yeah. is, and he's yeah. very much the but same you know what, Lance, you see on, t- on camera. Yes, you know Lance. what, Lance, though, is it's he gets excited. You could see yeah. the excitement in him. When he talks about something, he's doing with you when he was doing right. that fundraiser where he was driving the ghost. Right. You could just see the excitement. And sometimes dudes can't handle that. Like They can't contain it. Well, you, the you know, is, it just comes like, out. With a lot of us, we've had shitty lives, man. So when something positive yeah. comes along and it's good and it feels good, you express that. And... um. Since he's been around me, man, I've, I'm nobody's daddy. I'm no mentor. I just know what works for me. And I've tried to, he knows what doesn't work. So I've tried to kind of help him rewrite the blueprint on how to get his channel back up and running. He knows what mistakes not to make moving forward. And Lance is a good dude. A lot of what y'all found out, I found out that at the same time, you know, because you got to, you didn't yeah. get this point. If you look to somebody and you look up to them, you generally don't go to them with your downfalls. And he was not letting me know what was going on. I had my suspicions, yeah. but I'm not going to act on a suspicion. That's, that's stupid shit. If we all acted on impulse and suspicions, then, you know, we'd be we back in left? prison. We'd be back right. in prison. So I don't act on impulse. I don't act on, I need to know. And the situation at work was, it all came to me at once. And when it came to me, I dealt with it. And I dealt with it because for the guys that are fucking serious, that don't want to be junkies, that sobriety is at stake, if you're part of the fucking problem, you got to go. Yep. If you would serve dudes on my job site, you got to get the fuck up out of here. I was ready to fight that morning. Like, mm. this is the shit I don't talk about. Like, yeah, just yeah, the fact yeah. that you jeopardized these guys' sobriety, to let these in these motherfuckers up, first of all, dead. Because the shit they got out here now ain't the shit they had in the 80s. No. no, no You're no. one of my fucking guys. Hey, or have yeah, my guy yeah. out here robbing and stealing and back in prison. So you can either leave the shop or I'll break your fucking jaw and then you can leave. So how right. long did it take you to get to that point? You just didn't come off. As soon off as I found that. out. As soon as I found yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, That's got to be an immediate response. I was too much. Too much. Too much. Too yeah, much. I was suspicious, right? Because you know, I, I grew up in the streets. You can't hide high from me. I'm not middle class America. I grew up with it in the household. Yeah. I know what it looks like. I know the, the the eyes. I know all that. So don't think you can get around me and be high and I don't know. And yep. I started picking up on it and I said, all right, man, you might be tripping. And I kept watching. I said, fuck, no, nah, I'm not tripping. And I pulled up on one dude and he stuttered. Instead of being like, yo, he was like, duh, 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 duh. and I said, look, man, go ahead, get your shit. Fucked out of my warehouse. Um, he was like, "What's going on?" And I stood up. I said, "Look," and he backed up and got his stuff and rolled out. Now he's got a group of guys with him that they're my employees. Some of these guys I've known a very long time. I didn't even have to say anything to them. You know what they did? Turn around and walked out. Mm-hmm. They knew shit just hit the fan. What we might want to do is stay away from the fan. Yeah, the gigs up. Right, but I was never, it was never like, none of that shit was like, it was never about Domi, it was never about Lance, it's about a person y'all don't even complete, y'all don't even well, know that I yeah, just put on yeah, yeah. and that's as far as I'll go with, you know what I mean? Can I tell you this? Right. Yeah. There's a, the thing, that why my suspicions were the way they were geared is because of somebody else that was in this chat. Um, that you probably saw our dude speak speaking bad about you, a guy named Papa Grizz, Papa Poppy Grizz. He was saying before I even 
you know, got into it. He was saying, yeah, bro, uh, Domi has a dope habit, had a dope habit, a, a, a nasty dope habit. That's a lot. And he, him and Jay had a dope habit, and Jay was spending about 3 k a month on dope. He has all the text messages and receipts to prove it, and people were call, saying he was capping in the in the in the fuck. Yeah, chat. that's one hundred percent lie. I'm not going. Here's what I'm, here's what I won't do because, and I'll break it down like this. Say me and Ronnie are homeboys. Me and Domi at one point were homeboys. If me yep. and Ronnie fall out tonight, I'm not going to be on New Age Plug tomorrow talking shit about Ronnie. That's mm-hmm. not the kind of guy I am. I think that rock right. like that. That's why I real recognize real, and I like that. You never, I am. No, me you and never Ronnie punch down. If me and Ronnie got a problem When me and Ronnie see each other We know what it is Who pop We get it out the way And it still won't be mentioned on YouTube So right everything ain't made for TV man mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, right And I now. did it I rocked with Domi at one point So no I'm not gonna come on here and bash him I'm not gonna be a part of what everybody's doing Y'all do what y'all do I'll fuck exactly. my content um, yep. Right right You know I don't wanna get sucked into none of that Cause just as easily as people tune in for one thing They'll start tuning in for another and when I yes. start giving them the other, they yes. don't ever give a fuck about what was original. hundred percent, bro. Yeah. Bro, yo, yo. That's a hundred percent. So it's like, that's hey, big, on the panel, bro. I jump on the panel. I get that's twisted big. up with what y'all got going on. And it's yep. like, right. I'm going to cock the gun and stick it in my mouth. Yep. Yep. I, I yep. ended my career. Got you. Yep. yep. Hundred hey, percent, bro. What, besides, That's big, besides bro. Besides your channel, besides your channel, Jay Williams, what is your favorite channels for like the prison genre? Like, do you watch other stuff? Like, what is your favorite? What do you um, do on YouTube? What's your YouTube? He like, he likes Vegas prison stories, homie. Yeah, I check out Vegas. I check out yeah. all the new guys that are coming up. Um, and I'm always quiet, man. Y'all know this. When I pop in, it's like at the least unexpected time. Hey, yeah. um, when I'm I watching saw all you, all shit. Oh, when I saw you, I was like, whoa. All right. and I, that, and I observe, and once I see, hey, this is a good person. At some point, I'm going to jump in. If I see you doing something wrong, I'm going to jump in. Um, yeah, you know, I watch a lot of different guys, man. I'm all over, but I'm big into music too. Like, I watch a lot of, you know, uh, funk flex shit like that. King of the Dot, like Charlemagne. Yes, I'm into all yeah. of that. Like. A lot of my we, stuff. We're trying to get there. That's the goal is to get on their level because you know where they're at is they're syndicated. I right. know you're you're a big YouTuber yourself, but eventually you're gonna want to get to that. That's another stepping stone is to get to a million subs and to get right. to, you know you can you can really take that thing out. Listen, of here. I've, I've listen. had I've had a shit ton of offers, man. I've had offers from Amazon, right, right. Uh, Spotify, ooh, SoundCloud, ooh, like. Ooh. Um, all these different Apple, I've had all these different yeah. to come on and do a podcast. They're so like, hey, right. drop the fucking first episode, do it. But all in due time, man. You gotta be patient. Foremost, no, no. I'm a dad. I'm a dad. Right. Jay, Jay yeah. has literally gotten 300,000 subscribers on merely storytelling. Right. That's it. Yeah, I didn't do it. That's it. None of, the, none of the like, fluff, none of the fucking, yeah. none of that ultra editing, none of that. Just yeah, I like Jay because he don't need to say nothing to story. He don't need to say nothing to both. See, here's the thing. I'm not with the fuckery because uh-huh. when it comes down to it, you don't want me to be with the fuckery. Right. <laughs> if I get with the fuckery, I won't be recording videos next week. I'll be on mm-hmm. calls, at, you know, from jail headed back to prison. And at this point <laughs> in the game, I've done so much time that if I go again... Mm-hmm. I'll never get another chance at YouTube because I'll probably never get another chance at life. That's me. I'm yeah. looking at oh, the habitual. I'm, no, I'm glad you cleared down. up. I'm glad you cleared up a couple of those things though, because that leaves me that I don't have to wonder. And you cleared it up. You answered the, the question. The only thing I will say on the Domi situation is Domi is not a dope fan. That's all okay. I will say. He's not okay. a dope fan. He does okay. not do heroin. That's my yeah. Life. I always. That's all I'll say. So, is, okay. That's a lie. He does it. And I have one more thing to say. Okay. Because I've watched it long enough and I'll speak on it. I did not buy that RV. Oh. Damn. Hey. Let me be known. I'm not going to take credit for something I didn't do. He bought right. that RV. I did not buy that RV. Okay. There it is. You helped him out just with the, with the YouTube shit, though. You did help him out a lot trying to get his subs up and... He, you know, I wish he would have took advantage of that and, and to. I and, wish he would have listened for me. That's what I wish. I wish he would have listened. That's what that's, do you think that's about probably. reaction TV? Do you think do you think it's a good idea for him to do reactions now? 
I don't know, man. I think that, you know, um, it, it, he took a lot of hard blows. And when you, you get knocked down like that, they say you get back up. But I, I don't I don't know, man. I don't. I don't so he said this, yeah. Jay. He no. said this. He said he said this and he compared stuff to you and said specifically said, you know, I got trolls, bro. You think Jay Williams don't get trolls? He got mad trolls, too. But here's the thing, bro. When the trolls outweigh the supporters, right. that's a bad thing. Mm. That can be real bad. When the trolls okay. become 90% of your content, it mm. can turn bad. Because you can't beat that. Give, yo, you need to take this. And if you're going to YouTube, you need to understand this. You got to have real fucking thick skin. Mm. Dudes are going to say shit about your family. These cocksuckers yep. will go as low as talking about your kids. 100%. They're going to say things to try to get a reaction out of you. Yep. The moment you react, oh, it's on. Yep. It's on. You cannot, if you if you feed it, it'll continue to grow. And I've learned that. Since day one, I've had trolls. And you know what happens? They're like, well, I'm not going to go viral off of Jay, so I might as well move the fuck on. Yeah. That's what they do. You don't know me. You wouldn't say that shit to my face. And if you did and you could beat me up, okay, kudos, you beat me up. But I'm going to yeah. fight you. But I'm not looking to do none of that. So to avoid all that, I don't have to respond to your fucking, you're on my shit, talking shit to me. I don't have to respond to you. And it would be yeah. stupid on my behalf to feed anything that's negative. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. You know, no, like, I agree. I mean, in a way, I honestly feel bad for Domi. Like, we're all human at the end of the day. We all have emotions. We all fail. You know what I'm saying? We're all we're all at the end of the day, like we're all human, dude. We all have those emotions that true. you know, at the end of the day, you you know, you wanna be you wanna be uh have attention, you wanna be well liked. Nobody wants to be fucking hated. Right. You don't wanna go to bed and say all these dudes fucking hate me. Nobody right. wants to go to bed like with that. You know, well, it's never... terrible. I never even heard of Domi before all of this started coming out, and I still really don't know anything about him. Like, look, yeah, I'll put it like this. Yeah. I won't speak numbers. I won't speak numbers, but with what I do through YouTube, I can put my kids through college. Mm. I can ensure that my children right, never right. have to grow up in the home. I can ensure all that right. my kids never have to live the life I live. All so, without avoiding, all with avoiding the bullshit and drama. I respect that, dog. And yeah, I respect gotta, that as much as that hat you got on. I like that. I, yeah, you see that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Boston they, boys. They, they, when it comes to YouTube, if you're really doing it, this shit becomes a job. And what I will never ever do is let what the next man does at the job cause me to get fired. Yeah, and that's kind of what happens with YouTube. <laughs> You yeah, it's like letting somebody control your emotions. You catch a case like that, same shit, bro. You know, and you get you get tied to people so quick. I ain't got nothing to do with nobody's case, nothing, nothing, nothing. But no. if I'm real close to somebody and they start making all the wrong decisions on here, it mm -hmm. is not going to take long before it trickles over to step my lane and potentially fucking destroy me. Yep. Yeah, you got to step back. When you're talking about my children's future, their college funds, and all this stuff. And all the fucking, even all just the hard work I put in here, potentially going away because of mistakes of others, that's not something I can ever allow. You know, and it sucks when you have to fade to black or fall back from somebody. But at the end of the day, as grown men, we knew, we know we have to take care of ourselves before anybody. You know, when Jay, you're the man, we can't nobody. take care of nobody, or we can't take right. care of nobody. Right. Jay, like, you're no good. You're you mad know? quiet. You always have to shut your mouth and zip your lip. Yeah. Always. That's what you have to do because that's the position that you're in. And if you don't, then it's you're going to fuck your shit up, like you said. Yeah, you and know? I was actually, I would have probably been on a while ago, but New Age did some shit that pissed me off. He jumped <laughs> in my, my comment section and he left a comment. <laughs> and I didn't know who he was. I didn't know he was even a YouTuber. And I just left a normal response, right? And then a response yeah. to that video was made to it. So I said, oh, okay, I just got drugging this shit on a simple response. You won't hear nothing else from me if that's how we're playing. I'm one of those dudes, AZ Rock's gonna tell you. I yeah. think everybody talks to, to AZ, you know what I mean? It's just all yeah, yeah, I was just about to shout out to AZ. He just in the yeah. comment. Shout out me to and AZ. AZ chopped it up many and many nights, right? He's one of those dudes that I know that I can talk to him, and tomorrow I don't have to worry about waking up 
and my name being the headline of his video. A hundred percent. Yeah, that's yes. just that's, that's, that's like, the way it should. That's be. That's like me and Big Lance. We talked about a lot even before he came out and said whatever. Like me and him talking. I, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna say nothing. No one. Yeah, whatever. Never, if we chop it up. Though. Yeah, if we chop up, get, whatever, the most like, I'll post is like a shout out, you know what I mean? But I won't get into nobody's right. business, you know what I'm saying? But if we chop it up off. off air, if you're chopping it up off air and it's that's not on YouTube, air. then it stays off air. There should that's be nothing talked air. about the next day about yeah. it shouldn't exist. It shouldn't oh, even exist. That's not nothing. always how it happens, though. No. You know that as well as I do, but you know that's not how it plays out a lot of times. Right. Yeah, you're just going to yeah. know who you're dealing yeah. with and act accordingly. Yeah, I could be talking. You could be recording my whole entire conversation. I've had it happen. Yeah, it does. it's happened you know? to me already too. And then, tomorrow, and then they use it against you. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow it's like it, it's put out to make me look like this, to look like that. When I'm like, yeah. what, the, what the fuck? Like, right. I trusted in you. And then it yeah. could be taken out of context. This is a damn yeah. little YouTube world, man. You know. Yeah. That's why. I mean, that's why we're following your lead, though. It's, right. And I'm gonna tell you, stay out of the it's fucking. Do our stories. Cells. Drama yo, this is, this is what Big Lance, Big Lance gave me advice, yo. He said, I can tell you everything not to do, and Jay can tell you everything to do. And that was, that's, that's Jay, I gotta shit. say this. That's I gotta say shit. this, though, Jay. Like, I just looked in your eyes when you were saying, you know, I trusted in you. You know, it seems like you really are genuine and humble, and you've been let down by a lot of people. You yeah. know? If I talk I just, to you I was on looking one at level, yeah. like I said, this shit has nothing to do with Domi. And I filled in the blanks on just the little stuff I've told you here and there. They can't write scripts for this type of shit. The level of nah. pain and betrayal that comes with it is shit that you couldn't, if you were given six months to write it, you couldn't come up with it. It's so deep. I mean, from the addiction side to the death side to all of it being intertwined, it's so deep, man, that it hurts mm. and it hurts because I'm not one that's quick to trust people you gotta show me I can trust you mm. yeah and once I trust you that means part of me cares about you because we built that bond yep and at the moment that that gets snatched from me or I get betrayed it's more than just the world it's, it's more than just betrayal there's emotions that get attached man and I'm a man so I don't want to show my emotion so you see what I do I just keep it moving like nothing ever happened and I push it to the back I don't talk about it I push it to the back and in due time it fades away but it sucks man it does suck to believe in people and to be let down to be crossed to be bashed because no matter what what you got no matter what goes on between us what I will never do is get on here and bash you yeah me too I ain't getting down like that like I say this I get a big heart and I used to expect people to have the same. That's one thing I learned. I don't I don't expect everybody to go as hot as I go. Everybody's not like me, you know? And then I'll say this, Jay, I'll I say this. At, at, the, at the level that you're at, that comes with a lot, right? And right. what that does come with, a lot of people that are jealous, spiteful, hate you, revengeful, everything, mm-hmm. right? Right. And I don't see a lot of people bad-mouthing you. And to me, that speaks volumes of the character that you are. Yeah, because he you also know? got people that he inspires, motivates, he motivates people, inspires, get a lot of people following him. So like you said, his good outweighs the bad. He's got more followers and supporters than shows, you know what I mean? Yeah, but even the jealous people and the spiteful people that that say, "Damn, like I want what Jay has," like that's fucked up. Like I should, I should have his spot. Well, they, 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 need to they go still out and can't. Get it. Well, and they can't. What? They hey, can't speak hey, bad about him. Hey, listen, you know Jay Williams. Yeah, yeah. Jay Williams yeah. knows I'm coming with the thunder. I'm coming for Jay Williams, but I'm oh, yeah? making it myself. I'm doing this myself. Hey, you let know me what give I'm you saying? this advice real quick, man. <laughs> There's nothing you can do based on me that's going to make you any better. Your biggest competition in this game is yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got I to just do you. You that's your video, what I do. Has to do better than its last video. Mm-hmm. The numbers my video does isn't gonna make you shit. Yeah, if I flop today or go to the top today, it's not gonna make a difference in your channel. You've got to constantly compete with yourself. It's just like the rap game. It's always man, his album wasn't as good as his first album. You're constantly trying to outdo that first album. That's what YouTube is. Yep. You got to constantly. 
Yeah, talk about outdoing yourself. Talk about outdoing yourself. You all did yourself with this fucking background here, bro. Yeah, this shit's uh, fucking uh, yeah, fire, yeah, bro. I just wanted it to be simple and custom relatable. lights, custom neon yeah. lights. Come I mean, on now. I like it. It feels it's better. nice. Gotta, it's clean. Yeah, clean. It's is clean. What I was looking for. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's clean. It's nice. It's good. It's good, I'm about bro. To switch over to the interview section of everything, so I need to be more professional. Hey, yeah. I won't. Let's welcome Alex. Yes, let's welcome Alex. How you doing, man? Can I can I say something? Can I say sure. something? Please? Absolutely. So you cleared up about the the RV thing, correct? And yes. I will go onto my channel and rectify that issue because I said that you bought Domi the RV thing. Mm -hmm. And another thing is like a lot of people talk about like drama cells or, you know, um, trolls and all this stuff, right? And I'm a man, right? I have children. And it doesn't matter if you have 2 million people on your channel. It doesn't matter if you have 10. I stand for the right things. And hurting kids is something I do not stand for. I don't care what people say about me. And that's the, the reason why I think a lot of people go to, well, well, I don't be a part of the drama because of this and that. But in life, I feel like it's important to stand up for the things that are true, right? And I'm sorry, I will go on to my channel and change the whole RV thing. Um, yeah. I was fed bad information, and I will change that. But I think the rest of the things I did, I didn't do it to clout, quote-unquote clout, what people say. I didn't do it to spread drama on YouTube. I did it to prove, not to to share true information that I that was lied about, if that makes sense. Now, here's, here's my thing. Alan, I watch your channel. I, I go in there. I just keep silent because of all the the craziness that goes on, right? But you got to make a name on your, your shit. You know, like right now you're popping because you're shitting on, on Domi. But that's done, bro. That's over. Everything that's well, going to come out has come out. You, but you see, once again, we're going to numbers. We're going to making a name. And that's not my goal in life. I, I, I do my job. I'm a blue collar guy. I do my underwater welding. I go home. I take care of my wife and my kids. I don't care about making a name on YouTube because it's not important to me. Yeah, Vegas, okay. he made it just okay. for Domi and he would okay. delete it if Domi deletes his shit, but Domi didn't well, delete it. He just made another name. Well, and yeah. It's it's just, it's it's not even really like, like it the whole thing. It personally Domi. hit you, Alan. It personally hit you with Domi. Well, I, I, know, I know a few people that are personally tied to this case. I mean, I live in Orlando, Florida. I mean, I have a, a couple different places, but I, I know people and that's a fact and I just pointed out the the lies, you know, and I don't think anybody could come on here and say that I did anything wrong. I, I think I did some things I made a mistake on. Yes, I shouldn't have fed on to the back and forth crap, but I don't think anybody could say that I lied on the whole thing. You know, I've, no. I basically proved everything I said, if that makes sense. But I don't want to turn this into a whole Domi yeah. drama thing. So yeah, that, no, it is nice to I hear. And no, it is nice to hear, though, the back and forth between Alan and Jay, you know, two people that have respect for each other and are well respected everywhere. Both of you guys are respected everywhere. Well, let, I haven't me, seen... let me start by saying thank you. Um, thank you for your service. I've got families that are active military. My wife's son is, uh, you know, his father was way up the ranks. He retired from the military. And his son is following his footsteps like I've got family. I've got nothing but the utmost respect for for our military, for our first responders. Um, and that's just a fact. People can say what they want to say, but you have to. When it can, Even with the first responders and the cops, I would never call the cops. Let your kid come up missing out the front yard. Yep. I'm calling the cops. What are you going to do? I'm yeah, calling man, the cops I'm right away. I'm calling the cops, dude. Your I'm wife called you and says, you're not home. There's somebody in the house right now. Yep. What do I do? Yep. Yeah, and that's yeah. where people they're like oh you can't hit that dude's called the cops before well hey, I've had issues with the police in the past I've let me catch somebody touching a kid I've been beat up but let's be honest here it's not like I was walking my schnauzer down the street and a three piece button up 
and some Doc Martens. You know what I mean? I was doing shit I shouldn't be doing. I was running. Those were my bad interactions. Have I met bad cops? Yes. But me saying F the police would be like saying that towards an entire race because somebody of that color did something bad to me. It's stupid. I'm not going to hate everybody based on the actions of some. You know, I have nothing but respect for them. If you're a piece of shit cop, you're a piece of shit cop. If you're a piece of shit person, you're a piece of shit person. Yeah. Am I going to go to a cop and put it hang out? Hell no. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I respect what they do. Yeah. You know, like, it doesn't mean yeah. I'm, I'm a cop lover. I, it's, that's a fucking crazy job to have and right. to, to go into every day and to know that the majority of the world is going to shun you the moment you put that badge on. Hey, I got a lot of respect for the police. And it is what it is. Look, they were on one side at one time. I was on the other side. But I still had respect for them and their job and what they did when they were arresting me. I had respect for them because that's the that's the name of the game. I mean, look, it's like I this. Mean, As a criminal, you, you have a job to do, and they you have a job to do. more than a rat. At least you know what they are. At least you know where they stand. You have a job to do. You got caught. What are you mad about? Right. You got caught. Right. That's like being mad at the judge for sentencing you. Like. That's your I job. Just <laughs> yeah. I've told people this, and I mean this in all sincerity. Um, if I was to ever run across the prosecutor or the judge that sent us to me, I would look them in their eyes, say thank you, and shake their hand. Because that sentence they gave me allowed me to, number one, come to terms with all the bad I'd done. Mm. It allowed me to tap into the remorse that I didn't know I had because I had been so inebriated most of my life. And it allowed me to find out who I really was. And I like who I am. I don't have to be tough no more. I don't have to run the streets no more or put on this facade to, to please people. I'm Jay and I like who I am. And if you don't like me who I am, then don't come around me. Stay the fuck from away from me. But what I'm not do, going to do is be fake to be your friend. Mm-hmm. And that's what a lot of us did coming up. A lot of us just, we had to go to hardest or act like this to fit mm-hmm. in. I don't have to fit in. My son looks up to me, and his opinion is what fucking matters. That's right. You know what people say, Jay? They say, you know, a lot of us as we get older, you know, I've never done prison time, but, you know, I've, I've played ro- I played rock music cross country, toured nationally Good. multiple times, but... You know, when I was younger, I was about the business. You know, there's, I forget who said it, but there's a dude, and he said, you know, when I was younger, I was about the business, but G-dirt. now I'm just. You're talking G-dirt, about yeah. yeah. He said, I'm just not about the business anymore, and that's okay. It don't mean I'm a string bean and you're going to walk over me, but I'm just not about that life anymore. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's past me. I'm not about that business. Yeah. It don't mean. You know, like I said, don't mean I can't still tie my shoes up and tighten up, as Domi says, you know, but don't walk over me. But that shit is in my past life. It's it's in my younger years. I'm not running like I used to. I mean, here's it. This is what it is for me, man. That's who I was for the longest time. Um, I went to prison behind it and I was good at being bad. That's Mm. just the God's honest truth. I have become accustomed to being a criminal and being a piece of shit human being. And I know when push comes to shove and violence is involved, what I'm capable of. And I do everything in this world not to promote that or suck, get myself sucked into any of that. I don't want to be hurting anybody or anybody else trying to hurt me. So I try to avoid that because I'm not that guy anymore. Can I be at the click of a fucking switch? At the click of a switch, I can bring that guy out. But I don't like that guy, and I don't want to be that guy, and I don't want any of you to ever look at me and think of me as that guy. That's why I move the way I move. Yeah, and we've seen, we see that other guy come out in other people. We see their other side come out of them. Someone who we maybe don't want to see. Maybe that's how they were when they were locked up, or maybe that's how they were off camera and you know that comes out because they get triggered yes, but they get sucked yes, into somebody shit. shows your emotions man no yes. Yes. my exactly. biggest thing is this I like people that are themselves all the time right I don't want to guess 
on what kind of person you're going to be today. So when it comes to Lance or Jay Williams, that's why I, I rock so heavy in the background watching them. Because from everything I've learned, these dudes are the same, whether there's a camera in front of them or not. And that's the way it needs to be. Hey, when you don't lie, you don't got to remember none of that bullshit. Be you. Shout out to Big Lance, man. What'd you guys think about him calling me Down Syndrome Dude from Florida? That was pretty funny. Uh, hey, he was gonna, <laughs> hey, he was gonna come down here and wreck your shop, bro. <laughs> I got a hold of you. I got a hold of you. Like, did you really say that about Lance? You were like, hold up, no. I was like, well, you need to fix this, bro, because I had a whole lot of shit. I had to fix a few said, things. Uh, yeah, wow. yeah, we we cleared it up. We already yeah. cleared it up. Yeah. No, I'm all right, all right, guys, I'm gonna get off. So, uh, all right, Alan. 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 Take care, right. Alan. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you, brother. Take care, man. Be safe under that water, man. Doing all that shit. I don't know how he does that, bro. Underwater welding? Get the fuck out of here. That's a hey. tough one. That's a tough teach, job, man. Teach me to scuba dive and weld. Yeah, I'll like, uh, never mind scuba diving, but welding while scuba diving? Worried about, you know, like, you scuba dive for fun. Imagine like working underwater welding with things that are probably torches that are hot and that could bust a line and a fucking uh, uh, underwater sh- fucking animal mammal can get That's you. That's what and I'm scared of. That's the part. I believe <laughs> the, yeah, the murky. He's an he's yo, an he told us. Too. He told us stories. He told us stories that he could. He was in water that was so murky he couldn't see what he was torching. He would just feel with his hands. It was that murky. He doesn't know if he was touching a fucking uh, uh, an animal, a mammal, a fucking shark. You don't know what was in front of you. You could just uh, see with your hand, like putting your hand in front of your eyes. I don't play with the ocean, man. I don't play with the ocean. That's just crazy. Now imagine something comes by and just touches you a little bit. He's been through some shit, man. Because you're not putting. You can't. You tell me there's sharks in that water and I can't see and something mm. big bumps me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not going to die from the shark bite. I'm going to die from the fucking water attack. <laughs> well, you know what happens, Alan? I think, I, I mean, Jay, Alan is desensitized yes, to I these situations it. because of combat. So he it. ain't scared of a shark that's going to get him. He's I already been scared. You know what I'm saying? Just like you in certain situations, well, you, we are you've had Chris. your life. Yeah, and you've had your, and same with you. You guys had your life in certain situations that desensitizes you in different ways. Yeah. Not maybe combat related, but in a different way. You yeah. know, that you're right. abused Violent. in a certain situation. Violence yeah. in general, I'm desensitized. Exactly. Completely. I've seen completely. Some of the most violent things happen. I've done unspeakable and violent acts that I can't take back. There's shit I can't talk about on YouTube. Just be stupid right. to talk about mm-hmm. on you. Yeah. There's things only my brain can see and only I remember and only I know. Mm-hmm. So violence is, uh, especially with doing large amounts of time, and not only that, living in the streets. I lived out Philly for a very long time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And out in the streets, at, uh, that shit's an everyday thing. Huh? Philly is wild. I'm Philly close to Philly. Day, like, I'm close to Philly, it's actually. Nonstop. nonstop, every day. You get used to and I, and I don't ever forget this. I'm an abused child. I grew up, my pops beat the fuck out of me. Mm. Bro, what you, what, what Lance said, you said to him when he said he was going to put hands on Bryce because he was mad. And you said, yeah, do that so that he'll be just like you. Yeah. That shit was some cold uh-huh. shit, bro. That's some See, real See, that's crazy to me, right Jay. There. That's crazy yeah. to me that, that you know, I you were beaten mm. as a child because, like, to me, my dad never laid a hand on me. But my dad was a Vietnam vet that fucking killed people with his bare hands. You know what I'm saying? He strangled my people. My dad was stories. a gang a killer, but my mama put my ass. I, I have dad, stories dad that when he died... Killer. Everybody was scared of him, but... I, I, I have stories that that are in his handwritings that I have that he wrote when he was in Vietnam that talk about him killing people with his bare hands underground in a tunnel that's dark, you know, so he was a tunnel rat. So, so like my father killed people and did the most gruesome things that I've read that he never talked about. And he never laid a hand to me, bro. Never raised his fucking Mm. voice to me, bro. Never raised his voice. Now he died when I was 14. My dad died when he was, when I was 14 and my mom when I was 16. So, 
you know, I've only had 14 years with him, but in those 14 years, bro, it was the best 14 years. Like, he was in a coma for a couple and always having problems. He had Agent Orange and military, you know, issues. But for what he was, fucking, I would never change it for anything, you know? He was always nice to me, always fucking doing whatever he could to me. So it upsets me when I hear someone like you, Jay, say your father fucking beat the shit out of you and, and did that, you know? Because my father no. was the most evil man ever, you know? But yeah, I mean, an it's, angel. It's one of those things, man. It's crazy. Like, my dad died when I was 17. And in 17 years, I never once was told I love you. Never once was given a hug. 17 years. Yeah. Oh, damn. You know what I mean? Like, never to be, never be told by your father. Never tucked in. Just... To be told yeah, you're a piece rough. of shit, you ain't shit, you'll never be shit, and to just get beat for everything, I mean everything. I was desensitized to violence at a young age, but yeah, I also man. told myself, I can't beat him, but there ain't another motherfucker out here that's going to put their hands on me. That's right. you're going to get a whole lot of something that don't belong to you. Yeah. And that's bro. what happened. Once I hit the streets and realized yeah. the power of pistol head... The power yep. of baseball bat had, the power of my fist had, and what I was capable of, I, st I started lashing out. And that's when a lot of my trouble started, is I had all this shit at home that I would say under my breath that I had built up in me that I imagined Channel doing. Danger. I couldn't do it, but this little motherfucker around the corner wants to pick jokes and pick a fight with me. Oh, I'm going to fucking hurt you bad. Mm, he doesn't yeah. even, it wasn't even that serious, you know what I mean? The other yeah. kids are like, stop, 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 and it's not... It's not hey, the kid. Yeah, channeled, channeled anger. It's channeled yeah. anger from him. Yeah. Shout out to AZ Russian. Welcome to the chat. Bro. AZ, what up? But you know what, Jay? That what makes up, you. Bro? That makes you a better person, a better father, a better man. Dude, that as you grow older. Horn, I think take YouTube out the out the picture. Take construction out the picture. My greatest gift in life is being a dad, man. I'm really good at it. And I would have never thought that because, like I said, I'm real about mine. Before going to prison, my son was two when I left. Um, he was almost 13 when I came home. Mm. I wasn't a dad. I was a piece of shit. I was a street dude. Straight up. I was the dude that might pop through every now and then, crash with his mom, you know what I mean? And not Bro. come back through for two weeks. That was me. Bro, that coming was home, my life. Jesus coming Christ. home, I wanted, I told my son before I got out, I said, I'm sorry. Let's start this off by me saying, I'm sorry. Because you grew up without a dad. I will never leave you again, and I will never be that person again. I hugged him, I shook on it, and I stood by it to this day. I, my kids, I don't. I know people say, you got to bust their ass sometimes. Because of what I went through, I do not physically hit my kids. Mm -mm. I told my wife, I've got too much up here to have to solve the fucking problem with violence. And she's like, Hell yeah, facts. Like, I've got it up here. I can handle my children and do way more than them, way more to them up here. You know what me do? Me hitting my kid when he does something bad teaches him. It teaches him that when somebody does something you don't like, you hit them. So I don't hit my kids. My I've never once my I've never once hit my kid. He's been with me since the week after I got out of prison. He's with me to this day, and he can stay until the day. You know, he chooses to leave, but he will tell you, my pops ain't never put his hands on me. And part of me also feels like, is is that shit my dad got in, had in him? Is that shit in me? Because I've done it to other men. I've seen my rage come out, and I've seen what I can do to other men. And even though I know I would never do it to my kid, there's that fear there. Of, yeah, uh, it's going to go one of two ways. There's a big difference, so. Way, went off there. the way. You know what I mean? Just like when you see drugs going up, get scarred, or you get you in dog. Jay, let me it's ask you a question, Jay. It's um, going to be one uh, of the two. Real question. I, I don't know if you commented on this recently, but um, the um, the girl that ran away, she's been Might away. Be. She, yeah, she's been gone for a while. Any word, any update on that? Anything? I'll say this, because I can't, I can't say much. She's got herself yeah. in trouble. But she's um, alive, at least. She's alive. They know where she's uh, at. Okay. But she's in trouble with the yeah. police. Um, her, her little boyfriend, 
He's a little street dude, so she she left to be with him, man. Did and some fuckboy right. shit. Yeah. He, and he is a fuckboy, and he led her down a fuckboy path, and she fell in behind him thinking what they were doing Yay! was cool. And yeah. she's not smart enough to know about fingerprints. She's already been through mm. the system with us adopting her and taking her and all that, so her fingerprints are on file. And I'm sure she knows that at the moment they run her name, bringing her home to me is no longer an option. Yeah. She's got to go to a cell. Letters and, and money on the books. I and think that's heart, the option man. now. That's only her option now. I could to stop it, man. And this is my yeah. sister. I have a sister. I said, this shit gets deep, man. I've got a sister yeah. that's out in Baltimore, and I won't speak much on her. Yeah. But you know what Baltimore is known for. Let's leave oh, it there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dope capital, okay. bro. So I've got a sister that's out in Baltimore, and that's my niece's mom. Yeah. Me and her mm-hmm. sister don't even speak. That's funny. Like, it's funny you don't... say that. Uh, say cheese. You know the uh, the YouTube say cheese. He actually put a, a community post out earlier today saying if you had to move to one city, Baltimore, New Orleans, or Detroit for a hundred thousand dollars, or just stay where you're at, dude. Seventy four percent. Everyone said they would stay where they're at. That's yeah. how bad Baltimore, New Orleans, or Detroit is. You know. Yeah. So Jay, it's tough. It's Philadelphia like Philadelphia is right there too. It's like the niece and the the mother are falling into the same trap, and it's you're seeing it. And you can't. And it killed me because I yeah. do so much to try to stop it, man. Because yeah, I know, yeah. I know what's coming. Like with my brother, I used to talk to my brother. Right when I went in, my brother hadn't got into none of his madness yet. He had just graduated high school. He's a good fucking dude. Like, throughout the course of the ten years, a lot changes. And he fell in with the wrong people. He ended up getting hurt on the job. And it started like it started for a lot of dudes, painkillers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was before they cracked down on the pill mills, so they were just fucking dumping them on him. The blues, and just like that, they took them away. Yeah, some of his homeboys had already graduated on to the next. So here he is, not understanding why he's got level seventeen pneumonia. Yep, and they turned him on, and from there, his life just went the fuck downhill. But the moral of all that is, I gave it everything I had to save him, to try to be the bigger brother. And because I'm, I, he doesn't fucking, he didn't get it. I'm like, you're going to fucking end up in that cell with somebody that's six foot five with a knife that's got all intentions on fucking or killing you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't want that for you, man. Stop. And when he ended up going to prison, I took it really rough. Yeah. I felt like I failed. Yeah. Then when my niece situation, I felt like I failed. I take things personal yeah. when it comes to me. When I inject myself in the situation, I don't put one step, one foot in. If I'm there, I'm there. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. there at 3 in the morning. I'm at 3 in the evening. I'll drive two fucking hours at 4.15 knowing I got to be at work at 7 if I love you. Jay, I see that in you, but you know what else I see? That sometimes you do that and you don't take care of yourself. I know this. You put yourself you're, last. You're smart you know? enough to realize that you didn't You put fail. yourself last. Your sister failed. And well, that's I mean, the truth of it. It just feels like that, you know? Yeah. It feels like that. You help people. And I'm going to tell you this. You grown men, so you know this. It doesn't matter what you do for somebody in most situations. The only thing that matters is what you did last. Mm-hmm. Like I can help you. Yeah, it didn't five matter. Five years straight, pay yep. you away every single yep. week for five fucking years. What yeah. have you done for me lately? What have you done for me lately? Or what yeah, but have yeah, you dude. Done but, but, hey, well, hey, I got it. Hey, got Jay. It. I, hey, Jay, I know it's in your personality to beat yourself up over stuff that you can't control, bro. But honestly, a. Hey, I like no joke. It just kind of correlated with me right now. I've been watching that Mike Tyson show called Mike on Hulu, yeah, I and uh, I see a lot of correlations with that. Like he beats himself up over a lot of stuff he can't control either. You know what I mean? And uh, it destroyed him. Not that it would destroy you, because you're pretty strong, and he was uh, not very. He wasn't super intelligent growing up. He's intelligent now because he read a lot of books and, you know, he opened himself up to knowledge. But, hey, you can't beat yourself up over the things that you can't control, my guy. You know what I mean? Like, I I know it's in you. You'll never change that, but... It's a learning process. It's easier said than done. Yeah, for sure. 
I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I may look a certain way or come off a certain way, but I genuinely fucking care about people. I give money to the homeless. I don't record that shit. I do it because yeah. I know they fucking need it. Yeah, and I got it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I know what it is to be on the fucking bottom. And it, at the end of the day, man, it's just it's like no matter what you do, if you try to save a hundred people, you'll be lucky if you save one. And then the 99 people are gonna fucking give you fucking shit because you didn't say you didn't you know do enough for them. That's how it works. Then you know, this I will say, even with Domi, nobody that can ever get on here and say I did them wrong, man. Yes. Nobody can ever get on here and say that if Jay's winning, I'm losing. That's not the case. That's yep. not the case. I barely you tried. Lose guys, but if one of y'all would have hit me up and say, "Look, man, I got two fucking kids. Work's been slow, and they're about to fucking change the locks on the door and cut the power off. If I got it, it ain't gonna happen. And that's my fucking problem. Yeah. Is that yeah. That's my heart. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm giving so much at this point that I probably could have retired. Yeah. But yeah. I just feel like, and I justified. I'm like, if more people thought like me, the world would be a better fucking place. Yeah, but hey, look what. Well, look what- Look what's happened, Jay. You've been reimbursed by YouTube, by your job. You know what I mean? So, like, you might have given away all of that, but you're getting it all back. Look at the deals you were talking about getting earlier with Spotify. But hey, still, those, yeah. are, those are big. Those are big moves. Those are uh, Spotify. That That's a that's yeah. a Joe Rogan move. Yeah. Joe Bud, <laughs> well, that's why we all. Bud that's why we all. We're all, yeah. we, all, we all salute you here. We you're in this vibration. But that's the thing. We're all yeah. we're all in that same. You know, we're not all in where you are. You know, it's you're very humble for where you are. But we're all on that level where we're grinding. I'm grinding every day on YouTube. I'm streaming every day. And if I, if I get a fucking five dollar donation, bro, you'll see me jump off my seat. Like when right. people throw five dollars to me, because I don't get much. I'm lucky if I get five dollars in a week, bro. Right. You know, like my internet literally went off as I was streaming one day. I right. it shut off and then like, you know, five hours later I was back and I was like, yo, the internet went off, guys. Like, I'm not fucking around. I'm back. But anyways, so I I understand <laughs> that and I appreciate that. And I'm 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 the first one. I'm okay to say that, bro. I'm I'm struggling and whatever it is, but you don't you don't I'm not I'm here every day to enjoy myself, especially on YouTube. I use it therapeutically, just like everybody else here uses it. Hell yeah. Therapeutically, you know? It helps me get through the day. Like the gym, it's like my music, man. Like music. Yes, yes. That's why we're here. I don't mean that... Uh, change the subject. Salute to everybody here on the pod, on the podcast. I talk to everybody but Tony behind the scenes. Uh, Yes. But, A, Tony, uh, the reason why I really got on is because I'm going to be straight with you. I do feel a certain type of way about you just because of the comments uh, that you have made in the past. And sometimes I, 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 I do reflect on it and I do yeah. feel like, well, maybe because I'm ignorant to a lot of stuff. And sometimes I speak out of turn or out of line on certain yeah. things that I don't know about. And I'll go to bed yes. thinking about it, like, damn, did I not, <laughs> did I not really know what I was talking about? And, yeah. I, and, and there have been, and, it's just because I don't know you on a personal level, so I can't yeah, really yeah. judge you yeah. uh, fully. You know I what I mean? You. I can only judge you on YouTube. So exactly. for, for me to feel better about you, I got a couple of questions for you. Um, yeah, sure, shoot. There's been stuff about like how you know you like you do. Uh, I, I I get it from listening to you earlier just just today alone. Yeah. Um, you do have a certain type of heart for people, whether they've yep. done uh, good and bad. Um, yes. I have levels to good and bad. Um, yes. Anybody who knows me knows that I have levels to it. So I do, unfortunately, I do break it down into certain levels. I do know that there are known sex registered sex offenders that support your channel and you do, you support them back. Um, well, not really. Gonna, I don't know if I don't know oh. if supports the I don't know if supports the right word. Hey, real quick, how okay. do I put my avatar on? Uh, just to hit the camera, hit camera. Yeah, button. hit the camera button, bud. You see at the camera. bottom of the screen there should be it says my yeah it says cam. stop cam camera icon yeah, it says stop cam yeah yep. just stop yeah. your stop cam, cam and mute. You'll leave your mic on. 
Okay, yeah, well, you can mute. Right Boom, right, there okay. it is. Holy oh, shit, dude, that's you um, right there? Yeah. <laughs> I guess they ate. I like so, I like that. I they, like they that. Support, support might Good. be the wrong word. Yeah, but, support's um, not the right word. You do allow them in. You do, you do interact with them. It is what it is. I don't um, know if uh, yeah. So so what you're talking about is individually. There's one dude in the community that I'm in that has followed me places. This guy, um, obviously, he has a problem. He had a problem. It was 20 years ago. Whatever the situation was. Oh, yeah, he's oh. he's he had a problem. Listen, you know, touching kids ain't a, ain't having a problem. No, it, right? it wasn't. It wasn't any touching kids. It was like a, I don't know what the situation was, but it wasn't any contact. It wasn't any rape. It wasn't anything like that. But um, he's been in the community in the, this wrestling community that I'm in. He has streamed with bigger podcasters than me for five years. He's been in the community, so he comes in my chat. Time to time And you know He's always supporting me Doesn't really say anything bad So Doesn't really do anything bad So I'm not gonna Base a screen name That If that is him You know I don't have him wrenched That's the other thing That we were talking about earlier Um, Like we brought up Jay Williams chat Bro You don't know Who's in your chat At times I like to know Everybody that's that's in the chat You know what I'm saying Um So I like to give everybody a chance On YouTube for what it is For what your screen name is For what that name is I like to give that that a chance How do I know that person is tied to a a screen name Or tied to a channel or tied to a person I have no proof of that There's so many alt accounts and fake people And trolls everywhere So if I take somebody's if I take somebody's word that that person's a bad person, and I just take that word, then then it's all hell loot. Then it's all then I'm banning everybody. You know what I'm saying? I have no proof of whatever. I do know something. If you come in my chat and you try to imitate somebody else, you try to dox me, you put somebody's real information up there, I will get you out of the chat right away because okay. you're a hazard to me and you're a hazard to everybody that is in my community in my channel. I will okay. ban you right away. And I that's, do know that's why I'm asking you because I wanted yeah. to hear, you know, because like uh, YouTube videos on people can be very misleading. Yes. Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? Because they're directing whatever narrative that they want without any rebuttal because there's no there's no this person is able to defend themselves in a type of way, I guess you could say. Yeah. They're just straight putting out a video and it's not like you're in the vi- if that person is in the video saying, Well look, that's not true. This yes. isn't true. So yes. we got that out of the way. Yes. Um and now, I do- go what's ahead. up? Go- no, no, oh, go ahead. I'm- I was going to say, uh, so let me, let me think how to word this without coming off like a dick, uh, not towards you, just, uh, yeah, in general. Just, just say, um, well, why? okay, so with Pino, everybody knows how I feel about Pino. I hate that motherfucker with a passion. Do you? Um, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that personally, but. Well, everybody else does. Cause you and I don't, we, this is the first time you and I have ever talked. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You, you don't, you, you wouldn't know that. But if you watch my, if you ever w- go to my videos and you watch my older videos, I've been exposing Pino for over a year now. Oh, uh, okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. And before the video came out, I was showing yeah. his paperwork and breaking down how he's actually a snitch. And then the video came out and just kind of solidified everything, I guess you could say. Yeah. So I get it. Um, I don't hold people to a certain, um, to a certain standard if they're what I call like normal individuals I guess if you're not a street person I don't necessarily hold somebody accountable for supporting that person um but you did and you had made a comment one time and it's just me kind of uh you know sometimes I overthink things yeah that's okay one of the one of the things that instantly, I think you might have seen me in the chat one night when you, when Pino was on there, you might not have because the chats were pretty flooded, but yeah. he had said something about like heads and this and that. And you're like, yeah, who, you know, who fucking does that this, these days? This is in 1985. There's no heads. And it was like, well, look, bro, this, 
Like there's there no are way, in, there, in Arizona, just, we have that. We have one yeah. guy who can fucking who can who can put an end to your life yep. just because you say a certain thing or you you looked at him wrong or and I'm not saying that's right, but I'm just saying that's just how it is. Wait, wait, uh, wait, hold on. We don't have. Where did I say we don't have heads? Yeah, yeah. Because Pino had made a comment about it. What's a head? And, a key well, holder. Like yeah, somebody who like one. Sure, are you sure that was? Pod. Wait, are you sure that was me? I'm 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 100 positive because nah, I was nah, dude, because I had no I idea. I was trolling what you Pino at that time. I was trolling nah, Pino I in the chat. Yo, I, mean, I you s- saw my video. I know you saw my comments because I probably left like. I have no idea what night. you're talking about, though. I don't even know what a head is, bro. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> you guys made a comment about it, and then you kind of went along with it. I don't uh, know maybe if I... it was worded differently because I'm not gonna lie to you. It was how long ago was that? Like a month ago, or something like that. It was a while ago. Yeah, that um, was yeah. different. Yeah, I would like to. I, mean? so I would like I to look, hear. Yeah. Either like way, to Tony. It. Either way, Tony. You said it, and you need to own up to it. Nah. No, <laughs> 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 no. Nah, nah. Hey, if you don't think you said that, then you don't. You know, I'm not. Yeah, I didn't even know what. what what you were talking about, like I would know if I was back in Pino on something. I will say this about Pino. I think Pino has a funny personality. I think he's a funny dude. I think his personality is always on the up, you know, and that's infectious. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's nice to have on YouTube. You know, you just don't want a fucking dull cracker on like not cracker as a white person, like a dull fucking just dude who's just Sitting there like, like Yeah, yeah Like I you, get you it wanna ha- You wanna have You wanna well, have that's somebody why people that's like Charleston White <laughs> Yeah, like <laughs> That's but why, like, that's why yeah. a lot of people Charleston White is famous Because people yeah. He has 50% Barry. people that hate him And 50% people that like him And when you combine the two That creates a uh, A lot yeah. of A lot of views I get it you know what I mean? I'm just saying it seems and like he's hold like you the to type that standard cuz I don't feel like yeah. you're a convict. You're not a convict. No, no, you're not a no, criminal. 100%. No, it's, never, it's, never. It's different. You know what I'm I mean? A, just I'm like, a hippie dude, bro. I'm a hippie right, right. rock and roller, but I will say this like he's the type of dude it seems like if you went on a, a trip like a, a ride with him, he would be like he would, he would make you laugh and shit. He's not going to be someone yeah. that's mopey just don't and, do and nothing that's illegal. Don't hit a leg yeah. up in jail. That's all I'm. I like Pino for. I can't speak on the fact that he snitched about this and this. I will say his paperwork stuff did look bad, and he, you know, he does say he was young, and that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. You know, you you are what you right. are at any age. I, mean, know, I even know that he gave but up his seventh grade fucking weed dealer. No, come on, man! You can't give up the weed guy. But he gave like, up everyone. who am I? Who am I to fucking judge anybody? I don't know. I'm nobody to judge anybody. I let I let the, the Lord above do that, and you know anybody else who wants to. It's it's. And, and I agree. And, and what to I say extent, this too. You know. It's 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 your opinion. What your opinion is about me is none of my business. What you think about me is really none of my business. You know, well, and I, don't, not, I don't have like a bad opinion about you. Yeah. Um, you know, well, I, I hope I cleared up a couple of things. If you have any more no, questions, you bro, just did. shoot. You know, no, you I will say this too. I got on and asked you because that, that yeah. was my whole Let me tell you this too. On. Let me tell you this too. There was another dude that came in my chat that I gave an opportunity for, and then I finally put his name to the YouTube because I followed the channel, and the guy actually had a YouTube. Went to his channel, watched the video, and I said, "Bro, I'm kind of not down with your vibe. I'm not liking the things you're saying. I'm not comfortable with you and the things that you're saying." And he right. said, "He said, you know what? I'll leave your chat if that's what you want me to do. I'll leave." And I said, "Yeah." Uh, and he left on his own volition I didn't force him out But he left You know what I'm saying So yeah, So I do make those changes If I can If I if I have the time To look into someone And find out they're a bad seed Fuck yeah I'll get rid of them But I, I'll, I'll try to give any Everybody and anybody The benefit well, of the doubt Here you on YouTube If you take the time To look up everybody That comes into your chat You yeah. won't have a YouTube <laughs> channel Because I won't have you're a spending life. it Looking yeah. up on Backgrounds. Trust me, I did that. I spent a good portion of my time at the beginning, uh, looking, trying to look people up if I could. I got to a yeah. point where I was hitting up little millennials, trying to get them. You know, they would get me IP addresses and all Jesus. kinds of shit because There's I was getting to research. The- well, I was getting I was getting tricked by people all the time, like, and I got tired of being tricked and bamboozled by people that are. 
that are no good or this and that and they're trying to push different narratives and I let it overrun my YouTube for a while it it did do that for a long time I don't really do that I don't do that so much anymore there's certain people that I keep tabs on that uh I I have problems with if anybody sees my recent video when I when I say is this on YouTube when I say uh, is this on YouTube we we kind of get lost in the sense that we think we know since I stream a lot and I stream fucking every day I'm here smoking weed or playing games whatever it is since people see me a lot on YouTube you know my small community whatever it is of you know 40 people or 30 people or 20 people 50 people. Um, but they only see what I let them see. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? So we they see don't about two see... or three percent of what people are doing. Yeah, and people like life. to judge you. People like to judge you like they know you a hundred percent, like they see you, like they're your best friend because they watch your YouTube. And it's like, bro, you don't know me, and you're judging me crazy. Well, like you need to chill it out. And I'm not talking about you, bro. And- that's why I'm I got on and just you. asked you, bro, because yeah, I, I'm I not going to lie. That. I told New Age, like, I didn't say nothing bad about you. I just said, man, I don't know how I really feel about Tony. And yeah. he was like, what? He was like, Tony's yeah, cool. Yeah. Why? And I told yeah. him the truth. I was like, yeah. well, look, it was because of a couple of comments. I've yeah. seen a couple of videos. And he was yeah, like, yeah. nah, you should give him a chance and just kind of, you know what I mean? He I was like straight that. up. I you know what I mean? That. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't bash you. I didn't say, oh, he's a piece of shit or yeah. nothing like that. I was just like, eh, I don't know how I really feel about dude. Yep, so yep. I figured I'd seen you on tonight. I'm very yeah. open about stuff and I'm very, uh, for I'm the glad. most part, I'm pretty f- yeah. straightforward. If I don't, you know what I mean? Yeah, if you're not you know, vibing with something, you want to clear shit up. Something. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I don't I don't mind fire away. You know, I got nothing to hide. I'm an well, open book. I appreciate book. you. Yeah, not man. getting offended because no. I wasn't oh, trying yeah, to offend yeah. you. That's what it's about on the YouTube just street. To oh, yes. Yes. On the YouTube street, solving problems. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. No, day you gotta speak day, up. Man. Communication is everything, bro. You know, hey, communication hey. is important, man. Can I put yeah. my problem? Can I put my problem out here now? Yeah, let's, let's go, go bro. Uh, right. New Age Plug drafted a sorry ass team in the draft, and that dude <laughs> is like three and one. What are you, three and one, plug? No, I'm two and two. Me and you have the oh, same okay. record. Man, my team is so much better than his, too. Hey, who's your oh. team, UPS? Was that? Stay to rate, hey, who's your team? My if running back, Raiders, right, the I'm Broncos running, the running back. He's out for the year, man. My running no, back is No, 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 I'm talking this fantasy football. Yeah, I'm a Raider. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, my God, you're getting a nut cake when I see you, bro. Hey, that's okay. I, I like the Cardinals, too, because I lived out in Phoenix for like four years. Listen, guys, I hate I'm the a... Cardinals. Go Denver. Let's go, baby. Oh, I, fuck I'm it. a fuck Patriots fan. <laughs> I'm a Patriots fan, and uh, oh, we're just, oh. it's it's rough now. All right, the days are over. It finally yeah. happened. The days have passed us by. We had a long, yeah, like, good time. Just like, like yeah, listen. The Bucks, run. too. We're done. Listen, just good like guys. the days, what is it? No, the, the Buccaneers are, are still going to make the playoffs, bro. Yeah, we're going to make the well, playoffs, listen, but we don't hey, just like the Super Bowl team. I know. apologize to you guys, man. I don't mean to cut anybody off, but hey, I'm way past my bedtime. That's man. what I was just going to say. I, I was going to say, yeah, you know, yo. I, the day is passing us just like just like the Patriots have passed us by the heydays. I think Ooh. four hours in, we just hit the four hour mark. Yo. I don't know about yo. you. But I think this is a good spot to close it up, yes, tie it up. I know. Nice hey, yo, Jay, good it. looking out for pulling up, Jay, man. Jay, thank you. 100%, Jay. Good looking out for oh, pulling hey, up, hey, man. Much love, Jay. It's your hey, boy, Blue hey, Eyes. Hey, I appreciate you. Hey, salute, Ronnie. Ronnie. I mean, just Everybody. so you know, I watched, man. I've watched every episode. Good look, man. To end. I'm always here. We this appreciate it. This is my heart. He's always watching. I'm telling you, this is my... Y'all got to remember, I'm a YouTuber. Hey, I am my shit when I went in my shit, though. But, yeah, but uh, shout out to Tony right. from the Bear. <laughs> I just right. want y'all to know that. Go ahead. Well, y'all gave me some of the most entertaining, even though I don't I don't want to see nobody fall. You know, I don't want... I mean, it's, it's not pleasant to watch. But y'all did give me some of my most entertaining YouTube months. In a very, very long time. Hey, I we're coming with the thunder. All Thank you, bro. <laughs> Like, I was entertained. I was like, what is next? Oh, my God. It can't get no, oh, shit. Like, 
<laughs> then when y'all stop there's no more videos coming from anywhere i'm like kind of hey, like well, what the fuck am i gonna do now new age so, has a way of uh connecting with everybody mm-hmm. and bringing them onto the platform i connect with people on a behind the scenes level and he does too, but he also has a way of bringing people onto the podcast or, you know, onto the channel like I've never seen anybody do before. It's crazy. Well, he gets well I said it earlier, and I don't know if he heard it, so I'm going to say it again. I did not like him at first because he stirs <laughs> the fuck out the pot. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, like, right, right. <laughs> and I commented back not knowing he even had a YouTube channel. And I, somebody sends me a link to yeah. I'm part of the Domi series. Based off this comment, I'm like, wait a minute, that dude has a channel? Uh-huh. Like, a whole, just like, it was like, maybe, I don't know what right. I said. In words. I covered you for a while, man. He actually, I have a bunch of text messages people sent of uh, conversations of you and Domi. I think Domi sent it to one of his, uh, I think actually Pop Sizzle, the dude uh-huh. Pop Sizzle sent it to Wait, me. so Domi was recording that shit? Dude, he sent me everything him and what? him and Jay were talking about, man. It was man, I, didn't, I posted a little bit at the time and then I deleted Hello, that video, I believe. Hey, let, let me get hey. some uh, let me get some off here. Hey, I, I gotta go to bed, y'all. I, I gotta okay, get out of here. Hey, let me let me say something to you, Jay, real quick. You hear me? Yes, sir. I just wanna tell you, what what do you always say at the end of your shit? It always ends bad. No, you always say you got some you got some real ones watching? Because I know yeah. y'all watching. Yeah, you're still watching me. That's right. That's me, buddy. That's all I got to say. I'm out. All right, <laughs> all right Bigfoot. Good talking with you, man. <laughs> hey, uh, so, Jay, you're doing interviews now, bro. I would love yes. to be able to, to get on there and just chop it up with you. I got you, but you know how it goes. It's been in the making, so there is a list right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. And dudes are getting their feelings. If they see me doing a Vegas Prison Stories interview tomorrow, it's going to be like, Bro, I'm, come on, man, all this time, and you da 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 So I will say whenever. I got you. I just got to fit it in when I can. Yeah, whenever, brother. Uh, that would be a highlight for me. You know, you're you're the benchmark. You're the right. one that we look at, and we're like, Jay did it right. Jay does it like a killer, and, and this is what I want my YouTube channel to be. But I want yeah. I want to blow by it too. You, you know, know, you know how it happened for me, man, is it was never, and this is a God's honest truth. I didn't think I'd ever see a bag off YouTube. It was very therapeutic for me to get on here and get this shit off my chest, man. Mm-hmm. It was. And That's I enjoyed it. Win. That's you know, and at win. GNX Con, all we have to do while locked up is talk, yep. tell stories from the streets. And I yep. did this yep. and I did that. Okay. All I've done is flip the script. Now I'm out in the streets, and it's kind of like what I was doing in prison. In right. prison, I talked on the streets. Now that I'm in the streets, I have a channel where I talk on prison. You know what I mean? I mean, that's how, how I started. I just wanted to start telling some of my stories, and then I started telling more well-known stories from Vegas. And, I mean, I was monetized in, in 20-something days. I wasn't I'll- monetized for a year. Oh, my God. Dude, I was doing lives. This is no bullshit. I started YouTube in January 20th, 20th of 2020. I got monetized uh, beginning of 2021. And from there, it took off. But I was never like, what's going to do views? What's going to bring subscribers? What's going to... I didn't care about none of that. I just stuck to the format, did what I knew to do, told the truth, and... One of my videos took off. People attached themselves to my personality. I stuck with what I was doing. I didn't give up. I do a live stream and there'd be two people in there. Yeah. Let that discourage me. At the moment, people reached out and said, hey, that video really helped me. It encouraged me to make the next video. And then what happens? My phone starts going crazy. One of my videos takes off. And from there... Something that I never imagined in a million years would happen. I started getting checks from Google. Mm-hmm. The next con, who in the fuck thought I would ever be attached to Google in any way except a background lookup? Right. You know what I mean? But it was, I didn't come in here chasing money. I didn't come in here chasing fame. It felt good. It felt therapeutic. And just based off of that, it took off. 
And from there, I've, I mean, have I grown? Yes, but I've grown more comfortable behind the camera. But the growth you see is the growth in me. It's yeah. not it's not YouTube productions. I didn't grow from YouTube. That's me growing more and more as a person. Right. If you look back two years, I don't conduct myself the same way I did in the beginning because I'm constantly trying to level up. I'm trying, I'm constantly trying to take it to the next level, not with just YouTube, but who I am as a man as well. Yeah. And, and it, it shows. shows in the videos. Mm -hmm. It definitely shows my, what drives me is I just want my next video to be better than the last one. Like I, want, I told you, you know, I just, I, I'm always after myself. And I'm like, man, I just want to make banger videos. Well, I don't. I, I got to give you some advice, that. and you need to know this, man. You have to save some. Don't dump the whole clip on them, because if and when you blow up, you've given away the greatest, the greatest parts of your channel for next to nothing. Yeah, yeah. you need something on deck. I do that with me. Yeah, I have. I have mapped out right now. If, if I do my comments video and I do two profile videos a week. I have two and a half years worth of videos already. That doesn't even account for the stuff that just comes in through the news or uh, like my own stories. Right. You know, that's just profiles. Dude, I've got videos I have yet to drop because I just know what they're going to do when I drop them. And it's just, there's a time and place for everything and it's just not time yet. I'm happy with what I'm doing. I'm definitely going to get in. You're going to see a lot of the podcasting coming. Now I stop interviews, start jumping in with these lives. Because with me firing my guys, that put the tool belt back on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which means I was able to sit in my truck eight, ten hours a day. It's my fucking company. You don't see Colonel Sanders at KFC. Right. You know what I mean? But I'm on that job day in and day out because it's my shit. And I'm not going to let it fall apart. Had I not been on it, it might not exist right now. Well, but that I had also, enough men. I had enough men that I could make five videos a day if I wanted. Now I've got a two belt on. I'm in there. I'm working nonstop all day. So even though I know I could drop a video, and that video would make more that week than I'm going to make all together with doing the construction thing. But at the end of the day, the smart me tells me there's no such thing as enough money, man. Well, I'm not going to be that. I'm not going to be the guy that relies on YouTube and something comes along mm -hmm. and wipes YouTube out next week. Right. And I'm screwed. Right. There's no yeah. stability in the YouTube game. We're so all one what word. you're doing. You're one campaigning word. with these companies. Yeah. You're 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 setting yourself into an empire. Well, you can say family. one word and piss off the whole internet and go just as quick as they love you, they'll hate you. Yep. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. So doing these companies, man, yeah. and these ideas that you have, and, and yeah. that's what's going to make your family. You're taking the YouTube money that you're getting now. You're hoping that you'll continue to get it, yeah. but you're putting that money into something that's more sustainable. Yeah. And that's yeah. that's kingpin shit, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's like this. If I, I, I own a construction company, so it's, it's a no-brainer. I make great money to adjust with that. That's six figures, easy a year after everything's cleared. That's mine. Why would I give that up and just stick to YouTube? Why would I give up six figures for something that's not 100% guaranteed? Mm -hmm. Remember MySpace? That shit was booming. Yeah, oh. it was popping with the music and all that. Right. Here comes Facebook. Okay. If all my money oh. and my, my whole life revolved around MySpace, when Facebook came on the scene, I would have been broke overnight. Mm -hmm. Overnight. You know what I mean? And in due time, people can say what they want. There will be a platform that comes along. and so Just like right now, as we speak, TikTok's beating YouTube. That's why they made the short game. You know what I mean? Right. So if, if these, a lot of dudes are going to be fucked when they say we're going to shut this down and we're going to start something new. Because you might have a million subscribers starting over from scratch. Savage proved it. Mm -hmm. He proved it. Mm -hmm. You're not going to, everybody's not going to go. People subscribe to you and stop watching, but they don't unsubscribe. Right. So I it, to get back to where I'm at today, it, I'm not going to say it couldn't be done. It ain't going to be easy. And it's not, not guaranteed. Work. Them work boots every morning, that tool belt, that's guaranteed to make my son 
have fresh shoes on his feet. It's exactly. Guaranteed. He continues to go to his private school. YouTube is not, man. Just like, let's touch on this. All for all the people that loved Pino when he was on the top, right? Mm -hmm. All it took was one thing, and the next day, the world hates him. Right. I'm not going to say the world. But Need the to have something to fall on. At yeah, least. The same people that loved him turned against him. Yep. It can happen to me at the drop of a dime. And now I've got to go in the house and explain. I'd have pissed all our money away. I'm waiting on a YouTube check to come in. It's not really going to be noise. Like, I've let mm -hmm. my company go. What are we going to do now? Right. You know? Right. I have nothing to hide. I'm coming up it's on brilliant. If I had something to hide, that shit would have been out 200K ago. You know what I mean? Do you think it's smart that Big Lance is broadcasting the whole his whole life, like the whole rehab thing? I I, I enjoy it. I think it's I smart. think he wants to help people. Yeah. And that what he is doing will ultimately help people. Yep. I think it shows the world that I'm human. I'm real. Yep. I'm not. And he told me these are his words to me. And I, I don't mind saying it because he'll tell it to you. And I think he has. He's like, right. I'm not a fake motherfucker, man. Nah. He's like, and I'm not going to turn this camera on and sit here and fake and give advice that I'm not fucking taking. Huh? Right? Yeah, he's taking the know. rainy days with the sunny day. Good and bad. Yeah, right, he's like, him if I'm gonna give it to him, I'm gonna give it to him raw. Yep. And hopefully, my journey can help somebody else. I want them to see if I can do it, they can do it. And hey, I salute and I take my hat off for that because there's not, yeah. there's a million motherfuckers on YouTube right now that got serious, serious, serious drug addictions that will lie about that shit till the day that YouTube is gone. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to come out and say a word. But he did. Uh, admirable. All right, I got a question yeah. too, man. I got a question. I'm close to Harrisburg. Where the fuck is the weed at, man? <laughs> well, you're in you're Harrisburg. You're in you're up in PA. Yeah, man. I moved to PA, brother. I don't know, and I'm not anywhere. I would direct you in Philly. Would be like, I'm just gonna say, man. You don't want to pull up on none of them blocks, man. Right. <laughs> yeah. If I send you down in there, it'll probably be the last time you do a video. <laughs> oh, God damn it. All right. We ain't going to go yeah. there. Yeah, I don't know yeah, much. I, I didn't venture outside. Only time we really, like, went outside of Philly was to, like, I, it's going to sound crazy. We go outside of Philly to, like, steal dirt bikes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Philly got we, the L bike scene, like Baltimore. Yeah. Boston, no, New York. I be riding. Hell yeah. We'd see somebody on the interstate with the trailer, you know what I mean? With the banshees on the back or the wide uh, And we're yeah. just like, man, I was going to get over this exit. We, and we were young at the time. So, kids, don't try this at home. Don't be an idiot. You will go. Nah, home. it's not we cool. Get, it get off the exit and see that, that truck drive by with that trailer. We switch lanes to get behind them. Yep. And follow. We might be four or five counties over, far from yep. Philly, and see where yeah. that bitch works. Go up the street, bullshit somewhere for a little while. And then about three o'clock in the morning, we're pushing them bitches off the trailer. If not, yep. stealing the truck and backing the truck up and taking the whole fucking yep. trailer. I was yep. telling my son that all my dirt bikes, all my dirt bikes growing up were stolen. His, his is legit. Oh, he got, oh. he got it made. <laughs> hey, hey, we get mad. Somebody, we we park them in the alleyway and shit and try to cover them, hide them in trash yeah. and shit. I didn't get mad when we see somebody else riding our stolen shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why you trying to steal my stolen man. shit? <laughs> right, chasing motherfuckers down the block for a bike we stole. Yeah, I didn't, that's get, that's it, I didn't get a job one time. I didn't get a job one time because this kid thought I stole his dirt bike, dude, and I fucking did it. You know what I mean? It wasn't me, but it was always Dylan Weitzel, the one that they always thought did it, and I didn't get a me. job because of it. A new age, a new age. Yeah. You did that yeah. shit. You know, I swear to God, it. I didn't do it, dude. I didn't steal it. <laughs> not that one. You know, not what he's talking about. This Flannery kid. His name's uh, Mike Flannery. I'm going to say his name because he fucking I fucked collect that him. Job. Send him. Damn, he bro. Fuck him up on another one. Send it. I collect him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It could have nah, been Hunter Zans. It could have been my brother. I never asked him. I'm going to ask him tomorrow. <laughs> but it could have been him. They probably mixed us up. Word up. Yeah, I'm about to tap out my brother's. Hey, get well. You're an inspiration. I appreciate it, guy. You already know. Much love. Hey, yeah, hey, man. Salute to you, Ronnie Blue Eyes. Keep doing your thing. And remember this, man. Never give up. You've only lost once you quit. My dog. Appreciate it. Always, Damn, man. Bars. Salute. 
Mm-hmm. Hey. Hello, that was the freestyle of the night right there. That <sighs> bars. Hey, so the video you did on Savage, Jay. Right. You started throwing clips into it and stuff too. Right. That shit made 